I'm here not very far from the center of Kenya, among the Samburu people, and with me is a global mission pioneer, Lawrence. Lawrence is from this area. He is a Samburu tribe member, and he's working among his own people. Lawrence, welcome. How long have you been working here? I've been uh, working for the last 10 years as an evangelist. Okay. Yeah, but, and but two years ago, what happened? Two years ago. Yes. Two years ago that I joined the Sabbath day, the Sabbath uh, Shash. Okay. Yeah, through Pastor Douglas in uh, Gituma okay. and okay. Patrick Lecoli. Okay. And after you joined the Sabbath Church or the Seventh day Adventist Church, then you became an evangelist for, for the church, what we call a global mission pioneer. So, working here among your people, what have you been doing here? Uh, since I joined the Sabbath uh, church, in fact, uh, I can see there is uh, a light there. Even my people uh, have really joined me hand in the church, so that I can see a very, a very good population of people joining the church. Most of uh, it was uh, on February that we baptized some people. Even this month we baptized 12. Uh, so we can see uh, the work is going good. Okay. Now compared uh, with the l compared with the last year that I when I was in uh, East African Pentecost Church, I can see a uh, Sabbath uh, church as really as a light to especially to normal people because these people they are enriched people. I can see moving from one place to another with their livestock. So when I settled here, I can see some people joined me because those who joined me in Sabbath uh, Church, they have really settled here. Okay. Now, Lawrence, you have a group that's meeting here. How many people are meeting with you every Sabbath? Every Sabbath, uh, 64 sometimes, and uh, not less than 100, okay. together with children. Okay. And, and what does your church look like? My church. Yes. What? Do you have a church building? No. So, so, so where, where, where we worship? just worship under a tree. Under a tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have almost a hundred people, including children, and yeah. you're, you're worshiping almost under a tree. Yeah. Almost hundred people, including the children. Even the 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 shed the the, the tree that I we have just put some uh, branches. I can see it is small compared with the number of people. Okay. So I want to increase also. Mm. And what else are you doing to reach the people? I, uh, my people. Yeah. Did you visit homes? Or? Yeah, I usually visit them at home, and uh, do some evangelism, and teach them uh, the word of God uh, in door to door. Okay. That's what I usually do. I also have some uh, outreach uh, areas where I move uh, food and I go and visit them, teach them, then I'll come back. Now you said that the people move, they have their cattle and they move from place to place. Um, that makes it more difficult to share Jesus with them, doesn't it? So, so, so what would be the solution? Actually the best solution that I can see, if we, because most of the time they move with their livestock uh, looking for green pastures. So if it, if it can be possible that I can get some means of the, transport, I can reach where I can reach them easily. Some sort of transport? What, what type of transport would be best? Uh, if I, uh, if I, a bicycle? Uh, or a motorcycle. A motorcycle uh, would help you the most? Yeah, it, 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 that one can help most. Okay. How, how do you get around now? I just walk. You walk? And how far do you walk in a day? So, uh, just walk five kilometers, three kilometers. And some of them went as far as even 10 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. So this morning we had a, a fairly large group here. Um, and then afterward you were providing food for them. Do, do you do this every Sabbath? Yeah, in every Sabbath we cook the food here. Then we eat together. And around five we disperse. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do in the afternoon? So in the morning you had Sabbath school. I saw you talking about Abraham with the people. and then. Uh, we had a visiting pastor from the Union speak, 
And then what do you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon, we go back to the, to the church. Then we, we, we continue with uh, uh, our, our Sabbath. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, this morning when we came, there was a special greeting for us. Yeah. Um, what, what does that greeting mean? The, the women came out and... Uh, in fact, for the, the greeting, the, the first song uh, shows that uh, we, telling somebody we, we are brothers, we are from the same family. So we, we, we just welcome them to join you. Yes. Mm. Okay, and then uh, pastors... And mo and most of, the, most of the, so those songs actually uh, just praising God, talking of the Messiah, the coming Messiah. Okay, and then Pastor Saro preached from the Union. What did he talk about this morning? The pastor. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he talks about uh, go to uh, I send you out go to every nation uh, every nation and baptize them in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit and I will be with you all the time and when he finished yeah. they began to sing a song that they make the song up right away and after they after he finished he also no before he gave us a story yeah. Okay, but then when they sang the song, what was the song? What was the word again? Uh, we sang the song which shows, which tells every bo every person to go okay. and come with a person. And what's the word that in, in Samburu? In Samburu, chomo, 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 oh, yeah, chomo, 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 Come with your friend. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Lawrence, thank you so much for being with us and welcome. Thank you for joining us here on Mission 360.